all have tried the long tail cast on method and we know how frustrating it is to have too much yarn or too little yarn for our project, especially when we're casting on for a blanket. And we don't want that to happen anymore. So today I'm gonna show you how to cast on and cast off using a crochet hook. I'm Dani, and in this tutorial, very quick tutorial, you're gonna learn how to use a crochet hook to cast on and off your stitches so that you don't waste more yarn. So to begin, all you gotta do is grab your yarn, your knitting needles and a crochet hook similar size or a little bit smaller then you're going to slip stitch just to have that on your hook now grab your knitting needles and we're gonna begin casting on the stitches so here I have my knitting needle and I'm gonna put it next to my crochet hook on the left as you can see, the yarn is behind the knitting needle and now all you gotta do is yarn over and pull through the loop that's on your hook. And then repeat. Bring the yarn behind the knitting needle, yarn over, pull through. Bring the yarn behind, yarn over and pull through. You don't even need to know how to crochet to use this method. It is so simple and so fast as well. Now just make sure your stitches are not too tight or too loose. We want the perfect tension around your knitting needle. And when you are done, all you gotta do is put the loop that was on your crochet hook on your knitting needle and then pull, pull the yarn a little bit to tighten that last stitch and there you go now you have your cast on with this beautiful look it is so nice and it looks so so beautiful and it is pretty stretchy if you ask me making it perfect for hats for example or any any project that, that you want I really use this method all the time since I learned how to do it. Now for the cast off, you're gonna need your crochet hook and we're gonna pretend that the crochet hook is the knitting needle. So you're gonna knit the first stitch, then knit the second one and pull the yarn through the first, just like that. The same thing as if you were doing with your knitting needles but we're using a crochet hook and because this is literally a hook it is so much easier to grab the yarn and pull it through so now just continue doing this until you are done casting off your stitches pull through and again knit the stitch and pull through and now continue until you're done And now that we are done casting off the stitches, just look how beautiful the finish is at the beginning and the cast on and then the cast off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial and that I helped you a little bit. We're gonna be using these methods a lot for my next project. So I hope you enjoyed and you find it helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.